Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have another Goodwill find. This is the third Goodwill in the city that I work in, and it was a surprise to me. I did mention it last time because someone had told me that there was a third one. So I finally got over there to it, and these are the goodies that I picked up. So, let's do these cards first. Wait till you see this stuff. Nice got a rubber band. So, of course, this is a surprise, but one thing I'll have to say that I appreciate about this Goodwill is they do not wrap everything in packing tape. So many things have been ruined because for the covers of them because they use masking tape. These folks look like they use some kind of shrink wrap, you know, like saran wrap. All right, so here we've got like an assortment of cards, which is always good. You can always use cards and things. Lots of thank yous. Look at this. This even, these have stamps on them. Now granted, they're only 32 cents, but isn't that a hoot? Okay. Do they all? I don't know if they all have stamps on. Here's some more. <clears throat> Alrighty, this looks like a little Christmas something. Thought about baking you cookies. <laughs> Alright, that's some kind of sticker. And these are adorable little teacups. Alrighty. And, oh, these are the envelopes that go with those. So those are really cute. Alright, let's put this to the side. The next thing I'm going to go on and show you doesn't really have a whole lot to do with supplies for journaling, but I have another one of these pop-up books. It's the one for um, The Wizard of Oz, and I let one of these get past me at Goodwill once before. Um, I said I wouldn't do it again, because the pop-ups in these books, and I hope you can see, are incredible um, they are just beautiful so look how uh, let's see if I can do this look how much that pops up and I paid the goodwill price for this nothing that I think that I bought this time was I able to get for half off but look at these incredible pop-ups I mean just incredible hope I can show that good enough for you but anyhow that I'd wanted to show you just because to me this is a little treasure all right so I thought what we would do is kind of unwrap these together and as I do that I want to tell you a little story I was watching um, a youtuber one day and she was talking about how she can't sleep at night sometimes worried about what she's going to do on her YouTube channel and I think about it, but I don't try to worry about it. If something comes up and I think that it's good to share, I will. Um, I do the best I can. And then I was watching this um, video put out by YouTube to help people, you know, grow their channels and everything. And there was a lady on there, and I have to tell you, I really felt bad for her because... She had so many followers, and she felt great pressure to always be cranking out videos. And I, I think that she pretty much had a nervous breakdown and had to step away. And I say all of that because YouTube is to be fun. It's to help people learn. And I hope that no one that I know ever feels the pressure because we love you, we'll follow you, if you need to take a break, family, personal, take your break. And, you know, like I said, I try to do the best I can. I'm not going to post every day, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to say all of that because this, like I said, is about fun and teaching and sharing. So, I put up these kind of videos to show you goodies that I find. Just to show you that there are other places out there to find things. Always be on the lookout. And you never know what you might come across. So, anyhow, these are 
chemistry flashcards. And whatever that says is what type of reaction. And then it's got the answer on it. Now, some of these are a little out there, no doubt. This one is concepts and definitions. And I, they're numbered. And then there are elements, symbols, and names. Hold on, let me get Sissy. Got to put her in the chair. And they're numbered as well. So I thought these would just be a cute thing to share with some friends and to then stick inside of journals. I just thought it was something unique. And that's really what I always try to look for is unique things. All right, then I got this bundle of ribbon. And I basically bought this ribbon for this ribbon right here. To me, it was very pretty. There were probably about four bags of this ribbon. And there was this ribbon, this type right here in every bag. So I had to just decide which one I wanted to do, and I decided on this one. I think that I can do some stuff with these other ribbons. So anyway, so I got that. And then let's go ahead and open this up. This tub right here is in very rough shape. But let's see. A couple things caught my eye in this one, and that's why I picked it up. So, some trims. Oh, Lordy, it's all going to be knotted up together. All right, well, there's some trims and some kind of like dangly trim. So that's cool. Some little thin ribbon. Here's some more dangly trims. Uh, looks like I have a little work cut out for me in getting things untangled. This one, little piece of this with the little discs on it. Some more dangly trim. This looks like dangly trim. Glass beads, some black. Some eyelash trim, looks like with beads. Some more danglies, some more danglies with little shells. That'd be cute to do a, a uh, ocean. Some more danglies. Oh, look at these danglies. Woohoo! Those are really cute. All right, a piece of boa. Some more boa. All right, and here we have some stickers. Didn't know they were in there. And then here's some more danglies with little black discs on them. The chain. Oh, there is a bullet in here. Danglies. Some more danglies. That's pretty good, I think. I think there's this is a pretty good assortment. I paid $2.99 for this one. But I think I definitely got my money's worth. So let's stuff all that back in here and let me throw it on the floor and hopefully I won't scare Sissy. Alrighty. So then these are stamping up containers and stamps. So I got these, and then I picked these up as well. I thought some of these looked old-timey for vintage. So I got those. Let's go ahead and tear open this bag. It's partly tore open anyway, it looks like. I have no clue. I just saw a couple in here that I thought looked cute. So let's see. Some of these, they look a little rough, but they doesn't even look like some of them have been used. I don't know if I can show. So, this is a just right stamp with an H in the middle. I wonder where the rest of this is because I have some of these just rights. That's pretty. Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the number of moments that take our breath away. And then these actually look like they have been hand carved by someone. There's some stars and a squiggly and a squiggly and an art. So those are pretty good. Alrighty. And this one says love grows where it's planted. And make me immortal with a kiss. Alrighty. Let's get that out of the trash. And then let's see what's in this Ziploc. Um, 
Okay, it looks like a rabbit. And another rabbit. Looks like the same rabbit, but this one has a border around them. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see these. I'm trying to figure that one out. I definitely see some writing. And I would have to say it is some kind of bird, like an ostrich or something. And this is a woman in a in a outfit co uh, costume some writing and then this is again actually this looks like a mermaid now i don't know that this one i don't think that's a mermaid but this looks like a clock with a mermaid and some writing behind it and then in here all right we have a little girl toward the back these look like chess pieces and then these look like a lot of letters now these are just letters cut up, I believe. And there's another chess piece. So those are some odds and ends. All right, let's just toss all this back in here. So anyway, when I was talking about the YouTube channel, I don't know, I just felt really bad for that one girl, and it's been kind of on my mind. And, you know, that's, I just want to ask people to be supportive. And I know some folks want to give thumbs down just to be mean. Don't do it. Be nice. Be nice to people. You don't know how hard they've worked on it or how much thought they've put into it until you're out there doing it yourself. You really shouldn't criticize. All right, let's see here now. These look brand spanking new. Just a note to put a smile on your face and a spring in your step. That stamp right there cost almost, the price is on it, cost almost as I paid for this whole bundle. Hi, it's me, and I recognize this stamp. Let me see if it's right. Art Impressions, yep. And here's a, a little lady in a lounge chair. Hasn't been used. And American Art Stamp. Listen, honey, don't mind me. I'm just the queen. Never used. Here is a CD, and... An amazing gallery of artwork using art impressions stamps. Hmm. Another CD with watercolor. This one's never been opened. Alrighty, let's see here. A little lady taking a bubble bath. And here, the only thing that separates us from the animals is the ability to accessorize. It's so funny with these little lady stamps because I've been thinking about doing a journal about women, you know, and different kinds of women. This is some kind of chicken with their hands on their hip and springs under their feet. Okay. <laughs> there is a little lady jumping in the air and throwing her hands in the air. Fun, fun. This one says, what's up at your end? This one says, Brenda and Joe give new meaning to the term square dancing. I wonder if Brenda and Joe are in here. I, oh, that might be them right there. I think that's Brenda and Joe right there. Okay. Let's see what this big one here is. I'm tired. Oh, no, I've tried, excuse me. I've tried aromatherapy, but it stinks. Hardy, har, har. But that's a cute stamp. Let's see if I can get them all in the frame here. This one says, style is everything. This one is, yes, it is always about me. And here is some little ladies or little chickens. I guess they really are dancing in some platform shoes. Snap, snap. Here is a little lady in her inner tube that looks like a duck with her flippers on this one says boing so i guess the one with the springs goes with boing here's three little ladies look like they're having them some tea you're never too old to do goofy things isn't that the truth if we can't laugh at ourselves well-behaved women seldom make history said it many times yippee 
I got the mold off the shower door. Hope your day is just as fantastic. I feel pretty. Thought you might need to laugh your head off. I'm not sure which one goes with that one. And this is bok, 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 bok. I would have to say that goes with that one. And then here we have two little old ladies that are very well accessorized. So anyhow, those were my goodies that I got at Goodwill. Um, like I said, very pleasantly surprised. I usually don't find um, rubber stamps and such there. So I, I, I just couldn't pass them by. Even though I didn't get them for the half price, um, I just couldn't pass them by. I just I couldn't walk away from them. So like I said, I just wanted to share. And um, please give me a thumbs up here. Let me know that you like seeing the goodies that I find, and and um, I'm going to put them to use one day. I've been trying to get myself still a little bit more organized and get some, you know, things ready to go to do some journals. Working full time, it kind of takes a lot out of me some days. I don't feel like doing anything when I get back home, but I do appreciate you coming by. And like I said, if you give me that thumbs up and tell your friends. Um, but you never know what she's going to show, what she's going to be up to. You check her out. And I appreciate it again. And I will see you on the flip side. Catch you later. Bye-bye.